Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles New York Comic Con exclusive Mirage Foot Clan box set from NECA Toys. That's right, after so many years, we finally, finally have this amazing Foot Clan figure box set based on the original Eastman and Laird comic books. These figures were supposed to come out way back in 2009, but it ended up being canceled, and they have been the set of figures that I have been most bummed about never being able to add to my collection. So when I found out that NECA was finally gonna be able to release these figures, I was more than ecstatic. So let's check these long-awaited figures out. As you can see, they come in really awesome, fully enclosed box packaging, has a great flap here that reveals the window, which will, sh which will fully showcase the action figures within. But we have some wonderful artwork right there on that front flap that comes straight from those original Mirage comic books featuring the Shredder and his Foot Clan behind him. As you rotate this around to the backside, we've got some awesome photography of the figures within. Special shout out to my buddy Matt K, who took the awesome photo for this packaging. So back around to the front, you can see that that flap does fold up on the box, which fully reveals our Foot Clan within. Now up here on the top part of the flap, uh, you can see we've got some panels right out of the comic book there, where the uh, turtles had the showdown with the shredder. And then back down here to the window box, you can see we've got some really great kind of comic booky looking artwork in the background. And then it fully showcases Shredder, the three foot soldiers, and even an Utram that's packed in. So really nice packaging. Uh, will definitely make for a great display. It is worth noting that the flap folds up on this box instead of folding down like we saw in the arcade boxes. Um, so you won't be able to really have the flap folded open if you want to display this boxed on your shelf. But otherwise, very nice packaging, but I'm going to open this up, we're gonna pull those figures out, and we're gonna take a closer look at them, so let's do that. All right, so we've got Shredder and the Foot Clan outside of that box, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. We'll go ahead and start by looking at the overall sculpts here. Now, as you can see, uh, the figures do share very similar sculpts between the bodies uh, because they're all very similar. Of course, especially with the foot soldiers there, you can see they all share that same upper torso, uh, but then the legs and everything are shared across the board with all of these guys. Very similar builds, but it totally works for these particular costumes. Uh, the biggest differences, of course, are some of the way that their outfits are being worn, specifically the head sculpts and of course Shredder's got all of the cool little extra bits there. Uh, the figures themselves stand right at a seven inches tall. You can see they're just uh, just shy of a full seven inches tall. But this is really great, especially when you pair them up with the NECA Mirage Turtles, because you can see how much taller than the turtles they are, which is exactly how it should be and how it was portrayed in those original comic books. Now the overall sculpting is very nice on these. Uh, they do a great job of capturing the look of the comic books and that is really benefited by the paint deco. Uh, looking at Shredder here first and foremost, of course all of the armor bits like the helmet, the little spiky shoulder pads, the forearm gauntlets, they're all done in kind of this almost metallic silver. It's not overly metallic, but you can see it does have a nice shine to it. But what I really love are all of the little really dark black lines kind of worked in and you can see that shading on the torsos there, working down the belt, you can see it on the loincloth pieces there. This is all a really cool design choice that gives them that very cool comic book feel. Now, of course, those original comics were in black and white, but you know, we got color uh, covers and stu uh, stuff like that. So uh, this is still really nice, gives them that very cool comic booky look. I just love the way that black line work is done across the board on all of these guys. They are fantastic looking. Uh, now, there are some things here that I want to point out, specifically with Shredder, we'll start here, uh, the little spikes on the back of his hands there, you know, very characteristic of this particular character. Uh, they are made of a very soft, pliable plastic, and mine did come out of the packaging warped because of the way the uh, little blister bubble was on the inside. So you can see they are very bent. Now, you could probably kind of work on these to straighten them out, uh, but they are going to come out of that package a little warped probably because they're very soft, so that is definitely something worth noting. 
Otherwise, uh, I will say that all of these figures feel very nice. I mean, they feel solid, uh, they feel durable, and they have some really great articulation as well. So let's go ahead and talk articulation on these guys. The heads are ball jointed, so you can see they roll all the way around. You can also move them up and down. There's a great range of motion there, which is going to be really nice, especially for some of like those crouching poses and everything. You can also slightly move the neck at the base down there. We do have ball joints at the shoulders. They're very tight on all of these guys, but the arms do move up and down, forwards and backwards. You got the swivels at the bicep. You got really nice double joints at the elbows. You can see there, uh, we've got the swivels at the wrist there, as well as the hinge joints that allow the wrist to move forwards and backwards. We got the nice waist cut there. We do have great ball joints at the thighs, and you can see there are slits in the sides of the little skirt pieces there, so it does not hinder the movement whatsoever. So the legs can go up forwards, backwards, side to side. We can swivel up there at the thigh as well. We've got really nice double joints at the knees there. You got swivels at the boot cut, and then you've got really nice ankle joints that can move forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side, and you've got the toe joints there. So really great articulation across the board. Of course, all of these guys share that same articulation. Um, uh, even though Shredder's got the little shoulder pauldrons up here, you can see that it doesn't hinder the movement of his shoulders. The arms can still go upwards and forwards just fine because these do move a little bit. You can see they're pliable as well. So you should be able to get some really great poses out of these guys, which is nice considering they're ninjas. You want to get some really cool action poses or some crouching poses, and you can do just that. Now these guys come with a ton of accessories. First of all, every single figure comes with a pair of interchangeable hands. Now when they come out of the packaging, they will have the closed fists, like you can see on this foot soldier and the shredder here. But they will all also come with a pair of open hands. And this is for gripping onto the accessories, which are also included. So, just to show you that real quick, it's very easy just to get a good grip on the hand, give it a nice tug, and the peg will pop right out of the socket, and we can then pop the new hand on in its place. You can see, very easy to swap these out, uh, but it is still a very nice tight grip, so you don't have to worry about it being too loose or anything like that. So we can get those new hands popped in there, and now we've got our foot soldier ready to hold on to some weapons. So let's talk about those weapons. What all do we got here? Lots of different weapons going on here. So we've got this awesome staffed bladed weapon, which is very cool. I love using that one for our foot soldier over here that's got the little cape and the straw hat, oh, that is so cool looking. It's perfect for him. And it's really great too because the articulation allows you to get him to hold that, you know, double-handed if you want to or anything like that. We've got a single-handed bladed weapon. We've got two small knives. One of them is curved. We've got a throwing star, of course. We've got this amazing chained weapon, which is one of my absolute favorites. You can see it's kind of got the mace and the blade, and it's got a real metal chain in between. And then, of course, we have two katana blades. Now, the weapons are very nice because all the blades have a much more metallic silver, while the handles are more gray, and they all have that same kind of nice dark line black deco on there that gives them a very comic booky feel. And this is cool because you can mix and match these weapons however you want. Uh, you know, you can even give Shredder a gripping hand if you want to. So if you want him to, you know, hold onto the katana sword or anything like that, he can do just that. But this is awesome because it gives you the option to arm these guys up however you want to. And and if you ended up buying like multiples of these because you really wanted to build out a foot army, which I'm sure some folks did, this is very cool because it allows you to mix and match all these weapons to give you so many different types of foot soldiers. So the weapons that are included are all very, very cool. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Let's go ahead and start by comparing Shredder and the Foot Soldier to the more recent releases from NECA Toys that were based on the arcade game. You might have noticed, and some people did notice this when they got their arcade game sets, but those arcade figures are actually these comic book sculpts. They were just painted to look like the video game. So these are the same figures as those, just with different paint deco. And of course, the Shredder from the arcade set was wearing the cape that we see on our hatted foot soldier in this set. And then just for some more fun, let's go ahead and compare these guys to some of their other counterparts. We've got Shredder standing alongside several other Shredder action figures. And we've got our foot soldier standing alongside some of the other foot soldiers that have been released. Now there's one final bonus that was included with the set, which I was thrilled with. 
we get a little Utram. This guy is amazing. Again, fantastic little sculpt. Nice pink squishy brain there. Of course, many folks recognize Krang or the Krang from the Nick series, but these little aliens were just known as the Utram in the original comic books. You can see wonderful sculpt on there. And what I was really impressed with is that he's got articulation. Look at that. The front two tentacles do have the ability to articulate up and down, which is a very, very nice touch. Not something that I was expecting. And again, just more awesome comic book turtles goodness that we can add to our shelves with this little Utram. And hey, how about we do a comparison time with him as well? Let's compare him to some of the other Utram and Krang figures that we've received over the years. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at Shredder and the Foot Clan, based on the original Eastman and Laird comic books. This is an amazing set, and as I said at the beginning, this was a long time coming. I was so worried that I was never going to get these action figures, and from the moment they were originally shown back in the 09-2010 uh, era, I wanted them so bad. And when they got canceled, I was so heartbroken, so I am so thankful that NECA found a way to get these figures released. Putting these on the shelf with the rest of the turtles from the Mirage set, the Mousers, April O'Neil, it builds out my absolute favorite collection of Ninja Turtles action figures. I love that we have these wonderfully sculpted, wonderfully articulated, and beautifully painted toys that are based on those original comic books from Eastman and Laird. So NECA Toys, thank you. Thank you for giving me these amazing Turtles action figures. Now this particular set was a New York Comic Con exclusive and they also did pre-orders online around that time and unfortunately at this moment they are sold out through NECA so your best bet is to try tracking them down online. So happy hunting my friends! And hey guys, did you enjoy this video? Are you a Turtles fan like myself? Then make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that way you'll never miss out on any of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or NECA Toys reviews. Until next time, my friends.